Today I'm going to talk to you about um, exam technique um, and how to interpret command words when you see them. Um, it's about giving you skills. So when you see a command word in an exam, you know what to do. It's a bit like being lost in this area of the world and having the map skills to be able to get yourself out of that situation, be able to interpret what's around you and then work out how to solve the problem. The first command word we need to know about is any question that asks for you to describe anything. Describing uh, would be a lower tier question, so it won't have many marks attached to it, but lots of people still make mistakes on it. Um, with describe, they're simply asking you to say, um, say what you see. Uh, so I've got a picture here of Anne Bancroft. She's a famous American polar explorer, explorer first woman to um, go to the North Pole um, on foot and various other kind of achievements. The, the question I've given is, describe the clothing being worn by Anne Bancroft. What I want you to do is stop the video and see how you would answer that question. As it's saying, say what you see. So... In the quick observations I've done for this, um, again, I'm not telling you why she's wearing them, but I'm just telling you what she's wearing. So sunglasses, woolly hat, kind of a polar jumpsuit and skis and ski boots. That is basically saying what I've seen in the picture. And, and I would be, if I was answering that question written down, I would just write down simply the things that I'm seeing. So the strategy we use in geography for uh, tackling described questions is geo. So the G means I'm looking at the general pattern. Again, saying what I can see, but what is the pattern that I can see? Next, I need to back up um, whatever I'm going to say about that pattern with evidence. That can be sometimes stats, it can sometimes be place names, it can sometimes be examples. The last one is odd one out. Is there something that doesn't meet the pattern that I need to point out. With that last one, you don't always have to have an oddity, but if there is one, it's always good to out, uh, point it out. So here's an example question, um, which is using a source uh, where you're being asked to describe the world distribution of carbon emissions. What I'd like you to do is stop the video and spend a minute using geo general pattern, evidence, odd one out, to see if you can descri describe how carbon emissions are distributed on a worldwide level um, and then see the answer that I'm going to go through in a sec. So looking at this question, I've circled two areas. I'm looking at the general pattern and I've circled these two areas because we can say um, North America uh, it seems, if you look at the pattern on the Earth, generally seems to have the highest emissions. And if I look at most of Africa, then most of Africa has generally very low emissions. To back up uh, these patterns I found, I need evidence. So I'm going to use uh, the key and the colours in the chart. And what I would be able to use as evidence was the fact is that the USA, if I'm saying that North America has the highest emissions, the USA has CO2 emissions of 15 to 20 tonnes per capita. I could then... Uh, find some evidence to prove my second point, saying that Africa is generally very low emissions, uh, again using the table. If I did want to find an odd one out, I've circled two areas here in Africa, and I've put that both Libya and South Africa don't seem to fit the general pattern, which is that Africa has very low emissions, as they have kind of emissions that are in the middle. And so we could say that Libya and South Africa have higher emissions, and you could even use some data to, to say that they have somewhere between 5 and 10 compared with most of Africa, which is somewhere between uh, 0 and 2.5. The next command we're going to look at is explain. And for an explain question uh, in geography, all you're simply doing is you're giving reasons. So we've got this picture again of Anna Bancroft, the polar explorer. The question is asking you to explain and Bancroft's clothing. Again, pause the video and think about what reasons you can give for why she might wear this type of clothing in this environment. So here's some of the reasons that I put. I put that she might be wearing skis, and this is one of the key words you're gonna use in all explain questions is 
because this is because it'd be easier for her to travel through the snow. She could move much quicker um, if she had skis on. The other thing, you could have picked pretty much anything else, but I picked, why is she wearing this large jumpsuit? Well, that jumpsuit is a, an all-in-one. That means there's not much that can get in um, in terms of uh, cold. And therefore, I put, why does she wear a jumpsuit? Because it, it protects her from the extreme cold, the extreme temperatures of the tundra environment. Those are giving reasons for what we might have seen earlier on, if we were describing, we were saying what she's wearing, but now we're saying why is she wearing it. So to remember how to answer and explain question, uh, you can use the word P. So the P in this stands for point. That is the main argument you're trying to get across. Uh, you then have to back up this argument with evidence. And again, that can be statistics. It can be sometimes place names or you might use an actual example from a source. The last bit is the explain bit. That is where you are having to use the word because. This is where you're giving the reason. So here's a worked example um, with an explain question. The question is explain why people live near volcanoes, which would get in the hazard topic. So the point um, having looked at the figure I've got here to help me out, I'd say the point I'd make is that humans often live near volcanoes because there's really fertile soil um, next to the volcano. I could then use, if I had a source like this, uh, an example saying we can see this in figure one, making sure I'm clearly pointing out where I got the information from, um, where people are farming next to an erupting volcano. If I didn't have a source, I could give an example. I could say um, uh, on the slopes of Mount Vesuvius, um, they grow uh, lemons and are many vineyards. So the key bit of the explain answer is the last bit. Uh, this is where we've given our point, we've given some evidence, but now we need to say, well, why is this happening? So as I've written here, we're looking for that word because, and I've underlined it because it, that shows me I'm giving a reason. So I've put this is because the ash that's coming from the volcano, when it actually lands on the ground and settles and after a while it breaks down, so it needs to break down a bit, that actually releases nutrients into the soil. And then because of this, this, uh, this is often a, a good place for the poorest farmers to be able to grow crops and sometimes several crops a year uh, without the need for fertilizers and therefore they can get high yields and make good profits from it. This is a, a kind of what the answer I've given here is the kind of the highest level of answer you would probably get for an explain question. You don't necessarily have to have it in that much detail, but as long as you're saying this is because ash um, releases nutrients and it allows farmers to grow several crops on it, that would get you enough uh, marks in an exam. So to recap, remember um, the different techniques you need to use for describe and explain. For describe, you're using geo, general, pattern, evidence, and odd one out, and explain using P, which is point, evidence, and explain. Now you need to go away and practice them. You'll only get better if you try them out again, try them with sources, without sources, See, so get used to using them. The last thing, and this is one of the most important things, is read the command word. So know that it's a described question uh, rather than an explain one, because um, the next clip is gonna show you exactly how teachers feel when they see someone tackling a described question, but explaining throughout. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! No!